Let's talk about the Las Vegas Raiders. This team just made a major decision to go and retain Antonio Pierce, and he's going to be the head coach of this team for the foreseeable future. I love that move. He took over with this team at the halfway point of the season. He went 5-4 and four with this team after Josh McDaniels was a terrible head coach with this team. He made the decision to go out there, start Aiden O'Connell, and sit Jimmy Garoppolo down for the rest of the season. And I love that for Antonio Pierce. He deserves this job to go out there and to win five games with Aiden O'Connell as your starting quarterback because he is a rookie. He wasn't supposed to be starting this season. And to go out there and get those guys to buy in and then to go out there and to beat the Kansas City Chiefs in the second matchup, that was a great Great sign for this team. It's going to be great for them moving forward. They just need stability at the head coaching spot. They've had a new head coach every single year that Max Crosby has been playing with this team. And Max Crosby is one of those guys Antonio Pierce should be looking at and should be saying thank you. Because Max Crosby basically said this right here. If you did not go out there and make a move to keep Antonio Pierce as the head coach, I'm done. I want to be off this team. I don't want to be with this organization anymore because Max Crosby has been one of the best pass rushers in the NFL for quite some time now. 14, 14 and a half sacks and two forced fumbles last season. And the one thing that the Raiders need to do, they need to go out there and they need to fix their offense. You need to find a solution for the quarterback problem with this team. And it's not Jimmy Garoppolo. Before Jimmy Garoppolo was dealing with an injury and before he got benched with this team, he was leading the league in interceptions and he did not look good. Seven passing touchdowns on the season to nine interceptions. And he does have some money on the books with this team. They can cut him, but he's not a bad backup quarterback to have with this team. Aiden O'Connell, I do not believe, is a long-term solution to being the starting quarterback with this team, but something that is very interesting. He did play better down the stretch. Now, in the second half against the Kansas City Chiefs, he didn't look good. They ran the football with Josh Jacobs, and they have the right, the right weapons around him with guys like Michael Mayer, with guys like Jacoby Myers, and Devontae Adams. And that's very interesting with this team because Devontae Adams did have over a 1,000 yards receiving this year, but it wasn't the standard for Devontae Adams. He's one of the best wide receivers in the game, and they haven't been able to give him the football as much down the stretch. 1,144 receiving yards and eight receiving touchdowns on the season. The offensive line needs some work as well. And you look at Josh Jacobs. He was on the franchise tag this year. They may bring him back next season, but this was not the best season this year for Josh Jacobs. He only averaged three and a half yards a carry, six rushing touchdowns, 805 rushing yards. And he's a solid running back in the NFL. What is so puzzling about this, just the season before, he led the league in rushing. This is why you go out there and you do not give a running back a four to five year deal anymore because the market is skewed right now. Josh Jacobs deserves to be paid, but not top free agency money because this team has a lot of problems besides just the running game they need to go out there fix the offensive line and bring in the right coaches besides Antonio Pierce and I expect them to go out there and do that they need to go out there and get the right offensive coordinator with this team they have missed on draft picks for the last couple of years in the first round and speaking of first round picks Tyree Wilson is the guy they just selected in the first round. He was supposed to come in and play rotational snaps with Chandler Jones. Well, Chandler Jones went out there and he had a mental episode. And I do hope that he will be okay moving forward. But he is no longer in the NFL. He's no longer with this team. Tyree Wilson did not look good for the majority of the season. He did have some moments that made you shake your head and say, hey, there's something here. He was a project coming out of Texas Tech. Only three and a half sacks and one forced fumble on the season. You hope that he can develop because that's the guy that was supposed to come in and just take a lob the load off of Max Crosby. Instead, it hasn't worked out that much at all for this team. But their defense was a strong point in this team this season. And that's rare for the Raiders in the last couple of years. For the entire Derek Carr era, the defense was not good. This season, the defense was very solid. You had Max Crosby, who was very good this season. Jerry Tillery is a solid defensive lineman. Two sacks on the season, but he can go out there and stop the run. I like him more than most. I'm not saying that he's a star defensive tackle in the league, but he's a solid guy to have around, and he's a solid piece to have in the middle of that defense. Robert Splain was a very solid linebacker this season for this team. I like Divine Diablo as well. And the secondary is very good with Nate Hobbs, who was very good this season with this team. Struggled the season before, but this season he was very good in the secondary. They're going to have to go out there and find the right offensive pieces. I don't know what the solution is at the quarterback spot because Aiden O'Connell is still on that rookie deal. You could try to develop him this offseason, and it should be 
a way to go out there and try to speed up the development process because you have weapons like Jacoby Myers. You have Devontae Adams. Michael Mayer is a very good tight end with this team. They just didn't use him that much. But be on the lookout for this team going out there in the future and possibly moving up in the NFL draft to draft a quarterback like a Drake May or try to go out there and maybe get Caleb Williams, if that is on the table, but they're going to be in a great spot with Antonio Pierce. I'm not saying that next season they're going to make the NFL playoffs, but they have a tough defense. They have a run game that is hit or miss most weeks, and a lot of that is because of the lack of consistency at the quarterback spot. I don't want to put it all on Josh Jacobs like he was a horrible running back this season. Jimmy Garoppolo was terrible. He was a turnover machine, and he did not work with Josh McDaniels. And another reason why I'm so big on Antonio Pierce, he found a way to go above 500 on a back half of the season with going five and four with still running Josh McDaniels playbook just because you move some pieces around and you fired Dave Ziegler who was the general manager and you fired Josh McDaniels the players were still training all offseason long to learn that playbook and to get things right this team still had Josh McDaniels written all over it Antonio Pierce just came in and just tried to erase the bad things and just try to go out there with the positive things they played with an edge on the offensive in they ran the football better towards the end of the scratch and they found a way to go out there and play solid defense they basically went out there and beat the Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas Day with their defense alone yes Aiden O'Connell had some key plays in the first half but their offense was anemic in the second half besides running the football and getting things done he has come back and he has basically revived the Raider way with this team I love that for him, and I love this for the Las Vegas Raider fans. Just go out there and continue to build his roster up and keep letting him develop the talent around him. But you can see how it was in the locker room. He's letting guys be free. He's letting guys be themselves. Josh McDaniels tried to come over and bring over that Patriot way, which we all know is dead at this point in time in the NFL. You have the right coach of this team. Go out there and give him the right quarterback. Fix up that offensive line. And we could talk about this team being one of those young teams in the future that could be similar to what the Detroit Lions are now for Dan Campbell. Because those players went out there and they played with their heart on their sleeve for Antonio Pierce. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you feel about the Las Vegas Raiders moving forward and did they make the right decision with Antonio Pierce being the head coach long term? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, each and every last win, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.